evening, YTPC. Billy Piper Mike here. It's Monday, May 2nd. Currently 54 degrees, going up to 75. It's been, uh, it was absolutely beautiful yesterday. All weekend it was actually pretty, uh, Great weather. It's gonna be a little warmer today. I'm trying to get this bowl going. So today I'm smoking my Ryan McCauley Stackadian. Stonewall finish, galaxy stem, nebula stem, whatever you want to call it. Um, smokes like a beaut. And in it today, I'm smoking some. Uh, <clears throat> Cleland's 40th anniversary. Which I don't smoke very often <clears throat> because I only have uh, the 100 gram tin left. Uh, obviously, it's discontinued in 2017, I want to say. Really. Great Virginia. Uh, McClellan's can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, especially if you're talking, uh, trying to smoke a pipe. It's not really conducive to that. Because it will go out. <clears throat> especially because I didn't let it really dry that much at all. I just took it out. I didn't decide I was going to smoke it until I went down there. I was like, uh, I guess I'll smoke some of this. It's been a while. You get that, that McClellan, like, Red Virginia twang. That bitterness. A little bit of, like, a vinegar eating it. You know, Red Virginia taste. But it's also very sweet. That's to me what what makes McClellan Virginia's so unique is you know it has that you know if you open that tin it, it can be very off putting <coughs> to a lot of people it tastes like it smells like ketchup vinegar barbecue sauce um, but that taste does not come through whatsoever you do get. A little bit of that, like, Red Virginia, I guess, vinegary tang. But, um, it's followed by a tremendous amount of sweetness. And then, there are other Virginias, there are, you know, there are darker Virginias, there are stowed Virginias, uh, are also just, you know, I don't have to explain what McClellan was in the uh, in the Virginia world. And also, you know, for a lot of other, you know, blends that, that used Virginia from McClellan. I know, uh, I can't remember which one it was now. Um, one of my really good, one of my favorite L.J. Peretti blends. Uh, I don't know if it was Boston Slices or London Flake. Maybe London Flake. One of them used um, McClellan, Virginia. So they had to kind of reformulate it um, after McClellan closed down. 
and I'm sure there were a lot of other um, blends that, that used, that sourced uh, McClellan, Virginia's. But uh, any of the, you know, the, uh, the Christmas cheers, you know, St. James, Backwoods, Fa uh, Blackwoods Flake, um, so many good, good, good Virginia blends, which I, I didn't really appreciate until they, they went away to be a hundred percent honest with you, because, you know, I started smoking a pipe like December of 15, like early 16. Um, and, uh, and I had bought a few Virginia blends from McClellan and yeah, the smell was off putting and I couldn't get up to burn because you know when you're a, when you're just starting out it's hard enough to get <clears throat> ribbon cuts to to burn properly you know you either you pack it too tight or you you puff too hard and, you know but when you you know even for an experienced pipe smoker it can be a, a, a chore to get McClellan's to burn properly you know you're like and in the beginning you have this stigma about relights and <clears throat> how you shouldn't have to relight it and that's frustrating and I mean you really have to do a good job of smoking a McClellan blend without needing any relights you, I mean you, you have to uh, maintain it the whole time you can't you can't talk you can't put it down because the you know it, it's it's moist and it's thick so I didn't really enjoy smoking the blends that I did. Virginia Woods, I liked a lot. That was the one that I that I stuck to and I smoked a, a good amount of. Um, but most of the other ones, Frogmorton, obviously. <clears throat> uh, Frogmorton Cellar, for the most part. Um, excuse me. But again, that was a completely different, different cut. So... Um, They, yeah, um, Frogmorton Cellar is like a ribbon cut, chunky cut. There's flakes, there's little pieces of the Virginia in there, but it's a it's a ribbon cut, if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long since I smoked it. Um, so, you know, once they, they shut down, I believe in early 2017, um, you know, I had bought a ton of them, and, I, and I, I smoked some. I ended up selling almost all of what I had because I didn't want to like fall in love with one of their blends and then have to pay out the ass for it so I had put down uh, I, I did away with it you know I had I had a couple tins of 40th <clears throat> that I loved um, and I kept and, and I'd smoked through them and then uh saw somebody selling a tin that wasn't like crazy price and I bought a tin of 40th and I smoked it very sparingly it is so good though I mean not that I'm, I, I want to make you go out and spend you know 80 to 100 dollars on a 100 gram tin but I feel like if you if you love Virginia's or McClellan's and you haven't had 40th, I think you kind of gotta you gotta try it just to just to see what what it was because it was you know it's like so I don't know if it's ironic or not but like the fact that they in my opinion they made their best blend and then literally shut the doors like a couple months later was. Uh, really shitty <laughs> and they were having trouble getting getting the you know the tobaccos that that they needed and, and they weren't willing to to compromise quality so they said screw it we're done
And I think maybe some of that was the fact that Mike, was, you know, they wanted to retire maybe. I mean, I think it was just like a two-man, three-man operation. Very small uh, from, what I, from what I was told and what I've read and seen. Um, it was very, it was Mike and his wife, and that was basically it. Um, so, that may have had something to do with it. But anyway, if you have your, even if you, have, you know, you can get your hands on a sample just to try it. I think it's worth it. It's, it's such a good, such a good blend. But that's all I really got for you today, guys. Not a lot of people on the road today. I'm gonna have to work pretty quick. Uh, it's gonna get gas. Not that I enjoy doing that because. Kevin's at the at the Wooden Indian. Um, where it cost me like a hundred and something bucks to fill this beast up. Yay! But anyway, I hope you guys have a uh, have a great week. We had some great, uh, you know great draft picks for the Eagles and then horrible news from the Sixers and Bede fractured his uh, his orbital bone and concussed so he may come back he may not but that pretty much means we're probably done for uh, the Phillies lost two out of three from the Mets they got no hit on Friday night so yeah that happened they took a game Saturday and then they lost yesterday so back below 500 but yeah that's all i got for you hope you guys have a great start to your week i'll see you tomorrow on the naps channel and remember as always the left lane is for passing see you guys